Hi, I'm Phil Ashey from the American Anglican Council with your weekly Anglican Perspective. Today I'd like to comment on a statement that came out this week from the Secretary of the uh, Anglican Communion, uh, Canon Kenneth Kieran, uh, after noting that through Resolution B005, the Episcopal Church declined to take a position on the Anglican Covenant, but committed to remaining a part of the process and to continuing to monitor the ongoing developments of the covenant. Uh, Canon Kieran said this, he said, what is surprising and very heartening is the extent to which even those opposed to the covenant are now talking about the communion in a different way. This has been a huge learning experience, a very good learning experience for most Anglicans and has deepened their appreciation of what it means to be an Anglican. Well, you know, that's a bit like the <laughs> saying, well, uh, even though the building burned down, uh, the arsonist is uh, in good speaking terms with the victims and intends to continue to explore ways of deepening their dialogue. Here's the problem. Uh, Canon Kieran and Rowan Williams and the Anglican Communion Office bureaucracy have elevated the means to faithfully proclaiming to the gospel to the ends. The whole communion is simply a means to the faithful proclamation that Jesus Christ is Lord and it's only under His blood that we can be saved. And they're saying actually the institution is more important as so long as we're engaged in the institution and we look to that, everything is okay. You know, that is a danger that currently infects the Anglican Communion. But it's not just the Anglican Communion, it's, it's us. Every time, for instance, we elevate the culture of our church and its traditions over the faithful proclamation of the gospel, every time we turn away someone who's not uh, like the culture we're used to, or that we turn inwards and stop reaching out with the uh, wonderful good news of Jesus Christ, we too are in danger of worshiping the creation rather than the Creator. May God remind us of that and focus us back on what is truly essential, the faithful proclamation of Jesus Christ as Lord. Yeah.